Hey guys, in this uh, tutorial of Adobe Premiere Pro, I'll be showing you how to use the Ultra Key effect uh, if you're filming on a green screen or a blue screen. So here we go, I have my test video. I'm going to drag it inside my timeline. Um, I'm going to be adding a background to it, which for this video I chose to add clouds behind this, uh, behind the city buildings. Um, so you, you could drag it, put it in. Uh, you, uh, you could say you're in and out. If you have a video that's too short as background, you could hit R on your keyboard uh, to extend it, to extend the length of it. Uh, this will make it slower, or if you want to make it shorter, then it's going to make it faster. Um, then go into your effect uh, panel, search Ultra Key, uh, apply to your video that has a green screen on it. Uh, then go into effect controls on the top left, see the Ultra Key section, choose the eyedropper tool, and select the green on the video. Um, you must make sure that the background is under the original video, uh, so it goes through like that. Um, now for foreground, if you want to put anything in front of you, I chose to uh, put birds in front of the screen. So you could say you're in and out, um, then drag the video itself um, uh, all the way at the top because that's that means that it's going to be on top of all the other layers. Um, there you go, just add the ultra key effect to it again. Uh, go up inside your effect controls. Uh, there you should find your eyedropper tool. Click on the green on the video and it should make everything correct. Um, now, if you're working with something like I am, the birds, they seem a little too big. Uh, you just want to put it coming from an angle. Just go into motion in the effect controls, and you will be able to move it, and the video plays smoothly.